Hi, it's Jez here from nigeza.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you the card that I made for the Joy of Sets um, blog hop. Um, that was on yesterday, so you might have seen it. Um, the theme was Splish Splash. Um, so sort of anything to do with sort of water um, was, um, was sort of required. So um, I'm using the Under My Umbrella set. Um, with the matching punch, which I've just realised I had left over on my desk. So it comes with a matching punch. So I just thought, yep, yeah, I thought I'm either going to use the wellies um, or I'm going to use the umbrella. And I've gone with the umbrella for it. Um, so as well as this stamp set and punch, I've also used the um, stitched rectangles and the stitch so sweetly dies to cut um, these out as as well um, I'm going to change the color up so I've this umbrella you might think oh I don't recognize that DSP well I just stamped it and I use specific points and um, uh, gorgeous grape for it um, and so I've stamped the sentiment there in the gorgeous grape and backed it in the um, gorgeous great card I'm going to swap it round and I'm going to do this one in specific specific point to see what um, that turns out like so I'm going to show you how I created um, this for the umbrella so I've got a scrap of whisper it's actually I use this for something else uh, I'm not going to reuse the other side so we may as well use this so I have mounted um, a couple of the flowers um, from the stamp set and I am just literally going to stamp in clusters um, with this so just going to go stamp it a few times and then we'll come in with the purple the gorgeous grape which is gorgeous and just keep going until I've like obscured most of the patterns and sort of filled all the white space I'm gonna just check with me umbrella I need a little bit more take that shape out a bit further so I did this for um, a video hop I was on at the beginning of the month and we had to use our stamps in different ways and I kind of created some DSP. I didn't do it in more than one colour for that but I have for this. So that will do nicely I think and what I think is nice is to actually stamp the umbrella um, before um, punching it out. So I'm going to use some Memento. Get this nice and inked up. This is Memento because it's not stamping up ink. Stamping up inks are sponge based. Well this one's felt so I do tend to twist it a little bit to kind of make sure I've got a good lot of ink smudged it slightly in the corner but I don't think it matters so I'm going to stamp it down onto here like so and I'm going to leave it a sec to dry um, so I'm going to bring me a piece of card. Where's my chamois? 
Want to get these cleaned off before I uh, stick my finger in it and spoil everything. That'll do. Um, so I'm going to use a bit of balmy blue. I want to create, um, I did like a bit of a wash. So I want to create a bit of a wash. So I'm going to stick a block in there, get myself some ink. Gone for balmy blue because it's a lighter blue. Um, so I'm going to put a bit of water down. Pick some up and then just wash over. I might put too much water down there. It's bubbled. Can you see? Should really use the extra thick. Although I think it's okay because it's a bit like rain. That one bubbled a bit, but then it dried out. So I'm all right with that. It'll be fine. And then I've got the sentiment that I'm going to stamp in Pacific Point. And I think this sentiment's really good. But right now, there's um, so many people that we'd like to see that we can't see. So I've been sending lots of these sort of messages out to them. Always on my mind, thinking of you, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, so yeah. And then this should be ready now to punch out. So we've got a nice umbrella there. And then what I did was cut the handle as well. For the umbrella, I'm gonna to have to cut up there so that I can come in there and punch a brolly handle so that it matches like so. And I just think that's quite a cute effect um, to create there with with stamps. Because sometimes you don't want much of a white background and so there we have it we've got this lovely little effect and you can create different effects depending on which which color you use I liked that right I'm gonna get my heat gun and dry that off So I don't know if you can see, there is a slight sort of bubbling effect, but I just think it adds texture, so I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to cut that out with this beautiful stitched, scalloped, edged rectangle. And, um, and I'm going to cut one out of specific... Pacific Point as well using the third stitched rectangle so it's slightly bigger than this one and it sort of layer up nicely okay so I'm going to get that done 
so that's them cut out so being a bit frugal so like I've cut these so that they are a, a mat size for a card so this is like gutting them so I've got these saved for another project making your cardstock go twice as far so that is now ready for layering up so I've got a piece of extra thick whisper white here and that's going to be glued at a jointy, jaunty angle that's going to go uh, straight up we're going to put these on there and I'm going to stick that up on dimensionals so where's my Tombow let's get started so I say once it's things a die cut it's quite a nice quick simple card and then we can decide which we prefer I know which one I'm going to prefer before I've even before I've even finished obviously with purple being my favorite color I am going to like that one the best, I think. There we go. So we'll get some dimensionals for the back of this. Being frugal again here with the uh, using a scrap that I'd stamped on the other side. Stamped more sentiments than I needed. I did the baby wipe technique, you might have seen it. And uh, so, didn't actually use sentiments in the end. Uh, there we go. So, put that on an angle. And then, put some glue on this. That under like so and then I have got these are retired um, sticky sequins but there are some in the catalogue um, but I had these and I thought I'll use these up first so I just they're kind of iridescent these were from the um, butterfly gala um, sequins and I um, thought they give a little bit of a, a rainy effect got a little divot there from my embossing mat so stick that on there and I like odd numbers so Stick another one there. there. So that just, just a little bit of a sparkle from the rain. So there we have it. Pacific Point or Gorgeous Grape. I've done slightly, there's a bit more white there in the stamping and there's less in there. So a little bit different. But yeah, so that's my Splish Splash uh, themed card. Hope you like it. I will link, so if you go down below, there's a link to this blog post. Um, and I'll also link to the blog hop as well. So go and have a look and see what everybody else has done in their Splish Splash. Always a good blog hop. So go and uh, check it out. And there's also a Facebook group attached to Joya Sets as well. So check that out. Lots of inspiration. OK, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, share if you like what I, what I do. OK, see you again soon. Stay safe. Bye.